Hello, Aliens fans. This is Solid Dave Snake, bringing you guys another Throwback Thursday action figure review in light of this weekend's upcoming NECA Alien Queen review that I'm going to do. And I thought it would be fun to take a look at some of the older Alien Queen action figures that have been made in the past by companies like McFarlane Toys and Kenner who originally did the Alien action figures and this is their second outing with the Alien Queen. They had originally done this first Alien Queen in their Series 1 which I did a Throwback Thursday review for it. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check it out. But this was their second outing and they went on ahead and made it a deluxe playset of the Alien Queen in her hive. Which this was the only time that the Alien Queen has been made like this in the history of her action figures. They have yet to make another Alien Queen with her sack that lays the eggs like this one in any toy line. And I really love this even to this day. This was my favorite Alien action figure when I was a kid. But even to this day I really really like it just because it's so unique. And just like a lot of toys back in the 90s, it had that big action feature using goo. Kind of like how um, old Ninja Turtles and He-Man and Ghostbusters, all those action figures would have a different playset that would use that old school type ooze that you would buy with these action figures. And this was that same, same concept. Uh, at the top of the hive here, which is actually the only piece I'm missing, which you might not even be able to see in screen. I'll have to lift it up a little bit, the camera. But let me get in close here on this egg laying piece. And you can see right here at the top, I'm actually missing the lid. That's the only piece I'm missing from this. But you would pour the ooze down in there and... Down here at the bottom, there's a little lever that keeps it closed off, and you just move it to the side, and that releases it, dumping it into this tray down here. Which, this tray down here, while I'm on it, let me see if I can pull it out for you. Give you guys a close look in there. It's pretty neat. Actually, has a human looking like they're cocooned up inside. The head being right there, hand right here, and a hand on the other side. So that's pretty neat detail. This whole base of the playset does have nice detail all around. But I'll give you a closer look at that sack right now. And it is that green translucent plastic which is very fitting for it. And that's the little lever to let out the use. And it actually fades into a darker black down here at the base. From that bright green, I actually put a little black paint down there to make it transist into the base really nice. And there's actually another gimmick on this. If you see the little egg right here, there's a little hatchling figure in here. If you press this, it jettisons it out. And it's a neat feature, but not totally accurate to the Xenomorph mythology. Should be a face hugger popping out of there. So I find it kind of weird as a little hatchling, but still neat. And this little piece is kind of creepy. It's almost got a smiling grimace on his face with those teeth. And it's just got a little ball down here at the end. And you just set it right down on that egg. And you can see the little piece down there to set it to propel. And you just slide it right in there. And the base itself of the, let me get her toe out of the way, the base here of the satchel is on a swivel. And you can actually move this around. Let me 
set the camera back down and get it lined up here and I'll show you how that swivels the whole base swivels and you can move the queen all the way to the side and it's got a little stopper piece right here which makes you not be able to go past that point and actually how you disassemble the queen from the egg layer here is you just pull right out there's a little piece on her rear it's got a peg that slides right in here so that is how you take her off and now we will take a look at the queen herself and she is the best queen to date whenever this was made in 1994 this is actually how the queen looks in the movie. They did a really great job with this head sculpt. Ten times better than this old one. Just to compare, I'll pull it out. And you can see that they did a much more better job to representing the queen as how she looked in the Aliens movie with this new one. And all over. She uh, has that slender, more slender look like the alien queen from the movie even down to the tubes on her back look just like how the one in the movie was even has the she's a little dark and hard to see because she's all black but if you can see these are sculpted as one but made to look like the three spine pieces on her back I really like that and they did a great job with her hands. They have that whole look in the middle of her hand, which is how the Alien Queen's hand looked in the movie. And of course she has the little hands coming out of her chest with the three fingers. And even the leg anatomy is correct on this. She even has the almost high heel looking type feet, which is great. And her tail is coming off her back end of, uh, of her rear right there, like how it's supposed to where the old one is coming off its back, which that's not how it's supposed to be. So setting these two side by side, you can really see the difference. And articulation wise, She's pretty neat, uh, kind of basic for old toys, but the neatest thing about it is when you turn the head from side to side, this is all the further it goes. But it makes her inner face go in the opposite direction that you push it. And that was a really neat feature. But her arms, they just have a swivel on both of them, right at the shoulder. The inner arms don't have any articulation and she has cuts on both hips for the legs and a swivel at the tail so that's it articulation wise but I really love this old Alien Queen Deluxe uh, playset and I think it really holds up well even to today and for Kenner it was the best Alien Queen that they made just really blew that first one out of the water and just looks great um, I will go over the McFarlane Alien Queen tomorrow, and that figure was really the next best one until NECA released theirs, and I'll do that the following day. So stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching.